Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be walking through and solving an example using Newton's method by hand. As we went through in the previous video, Newton's method is an open root finding method for nonlinear functions, meaning that we pick an initial x value and then iteratively solve for our root from that point. I will leave a link to the video on the theory and procedure for Newton's method in the description below for anyone that is interested. All right, so we are told to solve for the rightmost root of the function here, f of x is equal to x squared minus two, through three iterations of Newton's method. So the function that we are given is just a parabola that is shifted in the negative y direction. Our first step in Newton's method is that we must choose an initial input guess value. So let's just use two. So our goal right now is to find where the tangent line of our initial x guess crosses the x axis. As we talked about in the previous video, this is approximated by our first order Taylor series expansion. So this is found using the following equation, which we derived in that previous video. What this equation is saying is that to find our next guess, our next iteration of x, we just take our current x value minus our evaluated function at our current x value over the derivative of our function evaluated at the current x value. So we can first evaluate our function for our initial x guess. This is equal to two. And as you can see from the equation, we also need to know the derivative of our function. The derivative of x squared minus two is simply two x. So evaluating this function at our current x value gives four. All we have to do here is plug in our values and we receive our next input for x which is 1.5. So that means following this tangent line here, we cross the x-axis at 1.5. And that is all we need to do for the first iteration. Moving forward, we just need to continue repeating this procedure that we just did. So all we have to do is evaluate our function and the derivative at 1.5. Then we can find the next value of x. The approximate root at our second iteration here is equal to 1.416. Lastly, we just need to complete one more iteration of Newton's method using our third x value, which is 1.416. Let's just evaluate our function and the derivative at 1.416. This gives us 1.414, which is really, really close to the real root of this function, which is great. So as you can see here, this method of root solving is quite a bit faster than many of the closed root finding methods that we examined previously. You could continue to perform iterations and as long as Newton's method is converging, like in this example, then your solution will continually become more accurate. In the next few videos, we will examine how to implement Newton's method into various softwares, such as Microsoft Excel and Python. If there's any other coding languages you would like me to implement Newton's method into, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of how we can solve a problem using Newton's method. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our Patreon page to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.